So in this video, um, I wanted to just show you about uh, condi uh, conditional visibility in forms. This is something that um, certainly Esri users will be familiar with, something you can do with um, uh, like ArcGIS Online with, with web map forms and field maps and stuff where you can just turn on and off groups of field based on a um, some kind of expression. So I'm going to show you that, that, that functionality here. Again, I think it's fairly new. Um, I'm in 3.28, so um, this is a pretty recent version. And um, here we go. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. So I right click on there, on the layer, on DC buildings, go to properties, and then go to um, attributes form. And what I'm going to do is change this to drag and drop designer. Now, um, so what, what, what I'm going to do here is I'm making a um, sort of form layout, as you can see, uh, that I'm going to populate. But I only want a couple of fields, value and last year, to appear only if height is greater than some kind of value. So we're an expression on height um, sort of rules it. So I'm going to drag value index into here as well and last year index. So those two are in there. So I'm going to say plus. So I'll call this my grouped um, fields. Uh, press OK, it's just one selection. And now I'm going to drag value index into there and last year index into there. You see? So I've got this thing called my grouped fields. Now, when I select anything on, on here, you get all the options on the right hand side here. So I'm going to select my group. So you see how I've got this group here? Yeah. So I'm going to select my um, uh, group fields, that, that top sort of title, the group name, and I'm going to set the control visibility by expression. So I'm going to say where height, let's say equals 11. Yep. So what I'm saying is that don't show anything unless the height value there is set to 11. A couple of other options to set styles and stuff. You can play around with those if you like. Now let's press OK. Right. Let's zoom in here. Let's set editing to on. And let's draw a new building, a um, uh, polygon. So I've got the shape digitizing toolbar over here. I'll just select, uh, I don't know, rectangle from extent. Do that. Okay. Um, so I, 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 so I've just drawn a rectangle there and right click to finish drawing it. This is the shape digitizing toolbar if you haven't got it loaded. So FID, um, that's just some unique reference. Don't know what that is. Height, let's say it's 10 nothing happens let's say it's 11 and there we go my group fields so so now I can um, enter stuff in there but as soon as I change it back to something else you see it's gone so that's what um, the conditional con visibility does for you it, you can create these groups and turn them on and off based on values that you've entered pr in previous attributes so again nice feature and I think it's pretty new. And if you haven't seen it, um, I hope you find that little demonstration useful. Thank you.